are in the star room. Burnt our sacred sage and then some sacred cedar. Now we're going to talk about what can be possibilities. September new moon. I'm excited to talk about this because there's a lot of, it's different energy. I don't know about you, but I could use a dose of different right now. It's all about Virgo energy, but we first got to go to a little bit of story time. Think about this. What planet rules Virgo energy? Mercury, right? Now, some say that Cirrus, C-E-R-E-S, is a co-ruler of Virgo energy because Virgo energy isn't just about organizing and the details and the thinking and the make it make sense sign, but it's also about health. And Cirrus, C-E-R-E-S, is about the grain and the food. So it's about how that affects our body. And so the sign of Virgo, in essence, is about the health, but it's really focused on our health routines. But it is also the gut health, that Mercury is, as its ruler, it is also a, another ruler of the sign of Gemini. And being a co-ruler, we're going into that time, we're going into the Virgo Mercury season where Virgo energy angles the Gemini energy in a difficult way. And remember, Gemini energy is the talking. Gemini is air, the talking, the thinking, the communicating, the breathing, the oxygen, it's air. And Virgo is the health, but it's more of the stomach the digestion. We're gonna just gonna go over a few of these main components because this is what will lead up to the new moon. And we also, at the time of the moon moon, are gonna have Mars in the sign of Virgo. Now, what's interesting is that there was a, a you know a critical dates for the end of August going into the beginning of September, and that's because Mars was at a critical degree. Well, Mars is our body. It's our physical actions, how we move about. It's Mars energy, which rules Aryan energy. So Aryan energy has a tendency to kind of just charge forward to not think. And so when we talk about Mars being the body, it's almost like it's a headless body, right? Because it doesn't really use its head. Or if it does use its head, its head is tilted down and it just rams forward like the ram, right? So it's using its head in a very physical way. It's not thinking. However, when Mars is in Virgo energy, it slows down a little bit because Virgo is that make it make sense energy. Virgo is that I'm all about the details. And so it tends to, you know, it tends to start throwing some of those details at the Mars energy. So you might find you may be not as impulsive depending upon some of the other things in your chart. If you don't have it and you want it, astrog.com or just go to the email. It's right below the video. I can get your chart to you. That's no cost. That is a service of all astrology. We have the nodes in Gemini. Earlier part of this, we were talking about Virgo energy, squaring Gemini energy. And this is what happened in the month of August. We started hearing the numbers, right? The pandemic numbers. Those numbers started escalating. Virgo energy planets going into Virgo, squaring Gemini energy creates stress and tension. Now, there's also another factor in the U.S.'s chart where Neptune is a player. Neptune is in Virgo in the United States chart. So anytime something gets close, right, to that 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 degree mark, there's going to be that angling up and that stressing and that tension happening. And automatically, because Neptune represents the water and pandemics, right? When you mix air and you mix water, you've got complications in breathing. Some would call it pneumonia, respiratory issues. All the planets take a turn, but we've got Mars taking its turn. Venus already took its turn, but now it's Mars. Mars is a malefic planet. So it's, you know, it causes inflammation. Now there is good news, believe it or not, I'm kind of painting a picture where it's not looking so positive, but we have a new moon in Virgo. This is a new beginning, fresh start. 
a new way of being, a new routine, a new health habit, new work routine. Virgo is all about perfection, perfection, perfection. So with a new start, it's understanding this old thing, this old super highly idealistic thought that I had. I might have to bring it down a couple of notches so it's a little bit more achievable. Because that's what that's what that is. It's 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 very idealistic and it's almost impossible to accomplish. But if we bring it down just a little bit, it becomes okay. I think I can do that. I think I can live with that. I think I can create a healthy routine around that. So when we're talking about a pandemic, it's all about organizing, right? We put things in place. There's a place for everything, a thing for every place, and there's a reason for it right? There's that practicality essence to it. So we've got Mars where it all of a sudden becomes practical action, action that serves a purpose where it's not just all willy-nilly. And then we've got the sun and the moon together, the sun and the moon together in the sign of Virgo, which is a new beginning, a new start, a new health routine, a new job possibly. And what I love about this new moon is it has the mind of God supporting it. There is an exact beautiful conversation going on with Uranus. Uranus is in the sign of Taurus right now. It's an earth sign, just like Virgo. So that Uranian energy, the mind of God, remember this is astrology, this is science, this is cutting edge technology things that haven't been invented yet. It's devices, it's automobiles, it's any invention that is for the advancement of humanity. Uranus is sending a beautiful trine to the sun and the moon, and it's on the day of the new moon, September 6, 2021.